Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. It is currently 4.56 p.m. and I just made a protein shake. I made a vanilla peanut butter banana protein shake and it's so good. Huh, it's so good. Yes it is. But I wanted to start the vlog because I meant to start this vlog on either Saturday or Sunday and that clearly did not happen. Today is Tuesday. <laughs> Chill, it's your dad. Jared's currently working out in the garage, banging and making a lot of noise. And that's what Granger's hearing and that's why he is barking and going crazy. But yeah, I wanted to originally have this be like a spr- What? <laughs> a spring cleaning vlog and just like doing all the spring tidying around the house, cleaning, deep cleaning, and all that stuff, which is kind of what I'm gonna do, but just probably not as deep. Alexa, stop. Who's talking to you? That was weird. But yeah, I made a list last week I, on Friday or something of all the things that I thought I was gonna complete over the weekend. But now that it's Tuesday and this video is literally going up on Thursday, I definitely don't have time to do all of this stuff. But we're gonna probably try and tackle as much as I can because I still want to really get a good deep clean in for spring. Spring is here and I just feel like my house is not spring vibes yet. It's still currently sitting in winter so this is the goal that I had for myself for us to complete over the weekend I wanted to wash our couch covers shampoo the rug in our living room clean the walls and the baseboards vacuum and mop get a good mop in because I, I don't know the last time that I mopped my house to be honest deep clean the bathrooms because that never happens which is really gross dust and clean our ceiling fans if you guys watched my vlog I think it was last monthly reset I cleaned the top of our fan in our our bedroom and it was so gross so I'm thinking I want to do that to all the fans in our house and then clean the kitchen cabinets and organize our freaking pantry which I think I'm gonna start on that right now that has not been done since last year it was like this time last year that I completely like reorganized our pantry and got it looking good and it's currently back to looking so bad. I need more organizational stuff to do it, but I can just work with what we have for now. So this might be just like a chill hang out with me vlog, but it also is probably gonna have a little more of spring cleaning to it as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching and let's just go ahead and get into it. This was not on my list, but you guys that watch my videos all the time know there's always a pile of laundry waiting to be hung up. And today we have two. Don't know if we're gonna get to that today, but but would it be a Chanel vlog if I didn't have laundry waiting to be folded? No, it would not. Also, I'm so sad. If you watched my last vlog, I just went to the grocery store on Saturday and got these Tangelos. They're like tangerine oranges. And I went to go have one today and freaking look at this. Are you kidding me? Like what? I just got these like three days ago, two days ago. What the heck? That's so disappointing. Oh my God, look at that one. That is so gross. How sad. That's a tragedy, so bad. I really wanted an orange, but not having one of those. Okay, usually in my resets, I just like get all the hair off the couch, but today I think we're washing the whole entire couch covers. Hi, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. You're actually right where I need to be. Can you get down, please? Get down. You do? Good girl. Nope. <laughs> it's just needing washed. I don't remember the last time we washed them. Spring is the perfect time to do that. The only bad thing about washing these things is they are so hard to get back in when they're done. Okay, I figured I should just knock out the washing the couch 
couch cushions first while I organize my pantry, you know, kill two birds with one stone. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you our little tiny pantry that we have. It is so hard to fit things in here because it's not very wide, but it is very deep. So it's just difficult and I don't love it, but it needs to be organized. So this is our long pantry that we have. I have a few like organizer things. Like I got these from Marshall's last year, I think. And then I have the little rack thing that we put our tortillas in. And yeah, it's just very <laughs> messy. This, you can't even really see what's going on. There's so much stuff up here. I'm sure a lot of this is expired or whatever. Now also, I kind of want to see how I have like all my one-up stuff back here. I have like my vegan proteins. I don't know if you can see that, but I have an extra greens and reds that I just got in and I didn't have anywhere to put it where I usually keep it. So I just put it in here, which got me thinking that I want to take my supplements, my greens and reds out of here and move them over there um, because I have all of these packets as well that they just don't really fit in here. I have so many of them. Goodness gracious. Look at all these samples. Yeah, I have so many of them. It would just be easier if they were like all in one location, you know? So we're going to try and make that happen. You guys want some crackers? Want some crackers? So while I was cleaning, I was of course listening to the What We Said podcast because I didn't get to finish all of it earlier during my workout. Oh, honey's finding some stuff. Um, I took everything out except for the tortillas and I cleaned all the shelves. I'm out of breath, <laughs> but look at everything on my counter. That's everything that I need to go through and reorganize and stuff. Oh, and there's also more over here on this side and the stove. So I got a lot to organize and go through. I really wish I like was in town and be able to get some more of these but I just don't have any at the moment but maybe we can figure something out like this one I don't eat these protein bars anymore so I really need to get rid of them so maybe this one can free up one but yeah look at the progress away all of these built bars. I literally did not love them. Don't know if you all have tried them. They're not that great. And they're not that healthy. With the view she could see her building. Try to tell her I know I feel it. Keep flowing I'm on my Okay, I got it all done, I guess. I don't love how it's organized, but there's just really no other way to do it with this pantry and it frustrates me. But down here we basically have like all my refills of everything or just like random things like flour and hemp parts, like coconut sugar and all that stuff. Then we have the tortillas and I put Jared's rice there because I don't know where to put it. This is like snacks, like healthier snacks, like the RX bars, almonds, whole bunch of nuts. And then we have like chocolate chips and those chocolate that I showed you earlier. And then back there, I have another one of these that are the unhealthy snacks, like a bunch of crackers, cookies, goldfish, all that stuff. And then this is my sushi bowl, one that has like salmon packets, tuna, my seaweed, and then a random beef jerky stick. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I kept all those on one shelf. And then next we have my healthy shelf, like all my protein, my greens and reds, my kickstart, and and then I have some naked PB back here, if you can see that. And then this is just organized chaos, I feel like, from here up. But I don't have anywhere else to put this stuff. So this is kind of the stuff that I reach for the most, like, during the day. Like, when I make oatmeal or make a coffee with my syrup, my almond butter, my date syrup and honey. And then 
I have like rice, pasta, and spaghetti back there. And then this is the dog's peanut butter. And then this is Jared's peanut butter. This is just the peanut butter he likes. I like to get this peanut butter for the dogs. And then I use the almond butter. So it seems crazy, but that's how it works for us. And then the, up here is just like snack foods like crackers, pretzels, popcorn, graham crackers. And Jared's got some beef jerky and there's some almonds back there. But yeah, it looks a lot better, a lot more neat, but it still just drives me crazy. But it's done and we're just gonna live with it for now. each other's playlists no no used to be each other's best friends yeah and now we got separate pathways but your heart's still in mind yeah and maybe we could try it next week so I got the cushions back on these and they were so easy to put it back on. Well, not so easy. They gave me a hard time, but they were a lot easier than that one. I cannot get that one on for the life of me. It is like not wanting to close. It's a little bit bigger of a piece, I think, because it's the corner piece. But yeah, and with my nails, it's just like hurting them. So I'm gonna have to have Jared help me with that. I'm not even gonna attempt that until Jared can help me because that like turn is just, I, I need something to help me. But they look so much better. They're so clean and they feel so good. And I need to do that more often. Washing your couch. Ah, get down, ma'am. I just washed these. You stay off the couch. You stay off the couch. Washing those was game changing. Definitely need to do that more often. But it is now 7.54. I am exhausted and I still have not eaten dinner. I still need a shower. I worked out earlier today and I feel so sweaty and just cleaning and running around has made me even more sweaty. So definitely need a shower. And then I think I'm just gonna make a salad for dinner. Something super easy and quick that I'm gonna probably start editing this video and hopefully get to read some of my book and then we're gonna call it a night for day one of this vlog because I knew this is gonna be a multiple day video but I'm gonna shower and then make something to eat. Hello you guys! Am I wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday? What did I wear yesterday? I don't know I have so many of these gray plain sweatshirts because I literally love and live in oversized sweatshirts. Gray ones to be specific. And I can't even remember if I wore it the day before or not. I think I wore my Brittany Lupton one yesterday that said let's lift. Anyway, it's a new day. It is 4.42 p.m. I worked out and then I did some sprints in the backyard because it's beautiful out. It is a little too windy to take like the dogs on a walk or anything, but it was actually really nice to do some sprinting in the backyard. I haven't done that since last summer. The dogs ran in the backyard the whole entire 45 minutes of my workout and honey is exhausted she's so tired but every single time i get up she like thinks she has to follow me so she's like sleeping while i'm sitting and then she like gets up and like tries to start following me and then like falls asleep wherever i stop and then i after my workout i had my post workout meal and it was so good i really wanted to show you guys but your girl is in her insecure era and i do not want to show my face without some some sort of coverage on it because it is so bad. It is the worst it has been in so long and I don't understand. I literally don't understand what to do. But yeah, I did not show you that because I did not want you guys to see me without anything on my face. So did I just go put concealer all over my face to cover up my freaking redness and acne? Yes, yes I did. Because she is an insecure queen these days. Not a secure one, an insecure queen, okay? We all have our moments. But I thought I would get back into my spring cleaning. Yesterday, I think I crossed three things off my list. I washed the couch covers, which washing the couch covers is so nice. Honey's already practically got them dirty again, but they're like still way soft and look so much better. I need to shampoo this rug still, but that needs to happen on a day that Jared's here because I don't know how to work the shampooer. Never used it before in my life and there's like 65 pieces that you have to attach and make it work and I don't know how to do that. So that's probably not gonna happen. And honestly, the struggle of having dogs 
and having a rug is so for real. Like I want to get a new rug so bad because this one is so disgusting, but rugs are so expensive. And then why am I gonna get a new rug for it just to turn out the exact same way that this rug has turned out because of our dogs? It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. However, Sam's has really large rugs for an extremely affordable price. I feel like they have rugs there that are like probably the size of this rug, which I think is like eight by 11 or seven by 11 or something like that. We got this one at Home Goods for like almost $300. They have this size and bigger at Sam's for like 85. So now the thing is they're just not the prettiest, but at this point I'm like, I'll take, you know, good looking and not so pretty over very, very old and just filthy dirty. But I don't know. That's why I was gonna try and just shampoo it and see how clean we can get it. But yeah, I need, I need Jared here to do that. So that's gonna have to be put on the back burner for a little bit since he just went to work this morning and he won't be home until Friday. And then I need to clean our walls and our baseboards like in the kitchen. They're so dirty because there's a vent right beside the wall that in the summertime honey just lays over because it just cools her off which she just rubs up against that wall and it has like all her body oil on that wall now and I just want to see if I can get that clean and our baseboards need to clean too while we're I'm at it I have no idea what to use to clean that though and then I was gonna vacuum and mop which I can do that we do have Rhonda the Roomba but she only you know does so much she is very helpful in the sense that I don't have to vacuum every day but she just doesn't like get everything Thing, you know, so I'm gonna vacuum and then I am going to attempt to mop. I not really mop, I have like this steamer thing. I honestly don't even know how to work that. I think I've used it like three times. So I need to figure out if I can do that. And then I wanted to clean our bathroom and our master bedroom. And then I was going to clean all the ceiling fans and dust everything. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do need to change our calendar too because it is the 30th. It's the 29th, but tomorrow's the 30th. And I've stayed up to date on my calendar so far this year and I just would rather, you know, get it done ahead of time so that I'm not putting it off. <sighs> So yeah, we're gonna get started with some cleaning. I'm just watching a vlog. I'm watching Gretchen, which I never watch her videos, but I see her in Sydney Adams vlogs a few times whenever she like travels or whatever. And they just went to Puerto Rico with their management company. And this was just on my homepage. So I was like, yeah, let's watch it. So we're watching that. And I always love when I watch new people and they have Goldens. I'm like, okay, I'm hooked. You're on my new weekly schedule to watch. Huh, do you like that Golden too? <laughs> Are you a tired girl? Or is it tired girl? Don't forget, Gretchen 15. It just flushes out all the time. It's my favorite time to use it if I have a workout. entire bathroom and it was not recording the whole time so just pretend like you saw me vacuuming the bathroom because I'm not gonna redo it
so tired. Ah, I'm out of breath. What would you guys do if I just passed out and died? You're just gonna lick me? You're just gonna lick me? I need to train you guys better to call 911 or something. OMG, you guys. I am so tired of standing on my feet. Uh, my back hurts, my feet hurt, like it literally every inch of my body hurts. It's not the brightest idea to do a workout and some sprints right before like three hours of cleaning because I am dead. Then after I cleaned, I cleaned the bathroom and everything. I showered, washed my hair. Yeah, after push day. So that was fun. And then I emptied the dishwasher, cleaned the kitchen, and then made dinner. I just made my at-home Chipotle bowl. It's such a staple for me. And it's so e quick and easy and I love it. It's delicious. Literally hate Chipotle though. <laughs> it's 7.35. I'm done cleaning for the night. I'm gonna update my to-do list. So I clean the walls and baseboards as good as I can get. They look a lot better, but there's still some spots on there that is just not coming clean. I vacuumed. I didn't mop. I honestly just could not do it. I could not do it. <laughs> So maybe I'll mop tomorrow or maybe I just won't mop at all. To be continued. Um, I cleaned the bathroom. It looks so much better. Ooh, I dusted, but I forgot to do the ceiling fans. So I'll have to do that tomorrow because I'm totally done for tonight. I did clean the kitchen cabinets. So tomorrow it's looking like I need to clean the ceiling fans and change the calendar and possibly mop. But your girl is done for the night. I cannot do any more. I actually don't have to work tomorrow. So that's why I can do a little bit. I'm going to the dentist in the afternoon so I just literally took the whole day off because I was like I lost time last year because I didn't use all of it so I'm like just take the whole day off so you don't lose time this year I think I am gonna start the new season of love is blind I for totally forgot that it came out like last week or yeah last week maybe so I think I'm gonna watch one episode because we're not gonna stay out here and binge it literally like when the sun starts going down I'm gonna go back to the bed um so we have about probably the length of one episode so that's what I'm gonna start right now while I eat and then I'm gonna edit this video and I will what are you barking at dude what are you barking at nobody is back there man yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow Good morning, you guys. Well, it's not morning. It is 1.58 p.m. I have actually had a very busy morning. I've been super productive. This is just the first time I'm picking up the camera. I slept in a little bit, which felt really nice. And then I edited for a little bit, had breakfast, all that stuff. After editing, I went and worked out. Then I showered, got ready. I'm currently drinking another protein shake and it's so freaking good. Mm. But I'm about to finish out my checklist. I'm not gonna mop because honestly, I don't have time. I have to leave in one hour. I still have to change my calendar, which I'm getting ready to do, and then clean off the ceiling fans, which I'm just now realizing. I don't know how I'm gonna do that because I'm short and they're really tall. And then I need to get a little bit of this edited before I go. I want to get it all edited because it needs to go up later today and going to the dentist is gonna take quite a bit of time out of my day to be able to do that. So yeah, I need to stop talking and start working. Here is the calendar, it currently says March and I need to get that changed, get it all updated because today is the second to last day of March. And I have nothing on our days, so I'm not really like missing out on anything. But yeah, we're gonna change that to April. Okay, calendar is all done for April 2023. And look you guys, April is such a special month for us because it is our third anniversary. I cannot believe that we are about to celebrate three years of marriage. Also, this is gonna be our fourth anniversary of living at our house. I think this is the day that we got Mr. Bubba's, which was four years ago, which is so crazy. Okay, to clean the fans, I have this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I wish it like turn to a, like a 90 degrees. It would just be easier to do that. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to like stand on a chair or something because, well, I don't know, let's try it. Honey is like bound to turn to get this. This is not a toy. No, get here. Um, uh, my butt is in the way. I can't really look up that well. No, where are you going? Don't go. Stop. Oh no, this is hard. I'm not tall enough to like hold it still. Well, they're not the 
best, but they, I guess they're better than what they were. I'm getting attacked. I feel like there's dust all over my face now. Okay, that was pretty quick and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this little spring cleaning vlog. It was kind of all over the place, but it was very just put together last minute because I did not do it over the weekend. But regardless, hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I respond to all my comments, so let's chat. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile.